This is one of the most extraordinary landscapes on the Isle of Man. It's the Point of Air, and it's the most northerly tip of the island, which juts out into the Irish Sea over there. Scotland is just a few miles north, and in fact, I'm closer to Scotland here than I am to Douglas. This beautiful building behind me is the Point of Air Lighthouse. It's over 180 years old, and it was built in 1818, as so many ships were getting wrecked, passing the point with its turbulent currents. Although since then, things haven't worked out quite as expected. Ships were still running aground here, especially during fog when it was difficult to see the light. So 70 years after the lighthouse was put here, this fog horn was built, with two great horns on the roof which blasted a mighty cord out to sea through the mist. But there was still a problem. As the years had passed, it was found the original lighthouse was no longer on the shore. Something strange was happening. The point of air was getting bigger. Therefore, a radical solution was needed. Let me introduce you to the Winky. Well, the Winky is this special little light that was built here on the beach at the point, and it flashes on and off every three seconds, hence its name. It was built here at the same time as the Foghorn, because by 1888 so many more stones had appeared that the original lighthouse was effectively inland, and not much use really for telling ships where the coast was anymore. Indeed, in these rare fragments of archive footage from the middle of the last century, we see a vessel run aground at the point. Sailing past at night, ships could easily think they were a safe distance from the lighthouse, but because the point of air was growing, they were often misled and ran aground. Even today, ships come very close to the point to avoid the nearby currents. It's easy to see that in the dark they could be misled by a lighthouse that wasn't where it should be. The Winky seemed like the perfect solution, but the point is growing so fast that it had to be moved, because originally it used to be further back. In fact, another 80 metres further back. So in 1950, it was moved to here. But who knows how long it'll stay here. Footage shot in 1949 shows the Winky in its original position, next to the Foghorn. And this photograph from around 1910 shows it next to the original Foghorn, with just one horn. You can just see the sea glistening in the background, showing that at that time, the Winky in its original position was right on the edge of the beach. <laughs> 